Hello, in this video we're going to go over how to program um, stacks and queues um, in Python. So um, this is just going to be a, a simple video on um, implementing stacks and queues and then just putting in uh, like a menu system in order to manipulate the uh, stacks and queues. So first, the first one we're going to do is stacks. So um as as you know um stacks and queues are considered um adapter classes which means that um there's an underlying data structure uh beneath it so uh in our case we're using lists so we're going to do we're going to define a list here a blank list mhm mm um so um and then we're going to do our four uh, commands. Um, if you've watched, um, hopefully you've watched my uh, theory video on stacks and queues. Um, we go over uh, the all of the um, commands um, in this. So the first one we're going to do is the view command. And this will simply, um, this command will simply, um, this function even, um, will uh, let us view the uh, stack itself. So, def we define the function view, and we're going to say for x in range, um, and then we're going to take the length of the stack. So for every, um, for, for um, every element in the stack, um, output the element. Okay, fairly easy. And then we're going to do our push command, which is adding to stack. So we're going to prompt the user for our, an input. So we're going to do item equals input. And then we're going to... Um, give a prompt here um, please enter the item you wish to add to the stack okay so that's that one and also we also have to append, append that um, item to the stack there um, because as you know that the Underneath the stack, there's a list, and to append an item to to add an item to a list, you append it. So, um, next we're gonna do pop, which is gonna be removing um an item from the uh and the 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 the, the element that was last put into the uh, stack. It's gonna be removing that. So define pop. I'm gonna do item equals. Um, stack dot pop and uh, we're gonna do um, <laughs> we're gonna do uh, minus one there passing in minus one why are we passing in minus one well that minus one is the index will be the index of the um, will be the indexed index of the first element go counting back in the stack which means it'll be the last it'll be the last item inputted which will be the first to be removed because uh, stack is an uh, is a last and first out um, uh, data structure so uh, there we go minus one there and I'm gonna say we're gonna say output you just popped out and then semicolon, and then comma, and then do item. Okay, so there we go. That's the that's that done. The last um, function that I showed off was the uh, top, the top or peak command. We're gonna call it a peak command here. Um, uh, well, function, um, and that just returns um, the. Uh, last inputted item in the um, stack so that's going to be um, 
that's going to be uh, that's going to be what's that going to be that's going to be um, that's going to be stack square bracket minus one there yeah so there we go so that then then we simply do um, output um, uh, you just peaked I suppose peaked item I suppose I guess it's hard I don't know uh, what to put there but um, anyway so we just say that item equals stack minus one which is of course going to be that last element there which is what we need to return um, and now we're going to do our menu system so we simply do while true uh, and then we um, are going to put in spacers here simply blank uh, lines um, and then we're also going to do um, little uh, separators here just to make it clear to the uh, user um, that that's what um, that you're there in the menu. Okay, so there we go. Here's our menu here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do print, and then list all of the all of the um, uh, commands. So one uh, view the stack uh, print. Um, to uh, push the stack uh, print free um, pop the stack and finally print um, for peak the stack okay so we've got all that and then we're going to ask the user for their choice. So we're going to do choice equals input. Um, we're going to say, uh, please um, enter uh, menu choice. And the user will input that and then we'll put it, that input into an if statement. So we do if choice equals equals um, one. Oh, nearly forgot my uh, casting there. Um, since input returns as a string, you need to change that to and um, cast that as an int. So if choice equals equals one, um, call view. Else if choice equals equals two, uh, call push. Else if uh, choice equals equals um, equals equals uh, three. We're gonna pop, and then else if uh, choice equals equals four. I'm gonna do a uh, peak, and else um, they've inputted the wrong uh, incorrect value. So we say input uh, input incorrect again. This won't be uh, error check, so you know. Uh, just letting you know this isn't going to be error check because the whole point of this is just to show you how a stack operates. Um, okay, so we've done that now. Um, just one little word about the built-in pop function, punk uh, thing uh, on uh, Python command. Um, I don't know if uh, all languages have this, but... Um, uh, that will automatically delete the um, delete what's popped from the stack, which is how it should work. But I don't know if you were doing this in another language and it doesn't have this pop, and you're and you have to get the item. Um, you're gonna have to obviously then remove it. Um, just letting you know. So um, okay, so we're gonna view our stack, and as you can see, we've returned nothing, and then the menus come back uh, because there's nothing in the stack yet. So we're gonna push. Uh, we're going to add something to the uh, stack, so we're going to add apple, so and then we're going to view the stack, and as you can see, apple is present, 
Okay. Um, let's do, let's push another thing in. Let's say we're going to push in grape and we're going to push in orange. Okay. Oh, sorry, I typed that in wrong. Okay. Uh, whoops. Didn't choose the menu option first. Uh, okay, so sorry about that. So apple, uh, grape, and then uh, orange. Okay, so then when we view the stack, we can see that we've got those three, three fruits in the uh, stack there. So let's um, pop an item from the stack. What do you reckon we're going to um, pop? Well, it's going to be orange because that was the last thing added, last element added to the uh, stack. And a stack is a last in, first out uh, data structure. So when we do that, as you can see, we've popped out orange. And when we view this, we can see apple and grape remain. So the last uh, little uh, function to test is the peak command. And... Um, that will return um, grape this time because orange has been removed because it was popped out. So, peak. You've just peaked grape. You've, you just peaked grape. So we know that. We know that it's going to be grape. So then when we pop this, we just popped out grape, leaving apple. So that is um, an implemented uh, stack in Python. We're now going to move on to queues. Okay, so we're now going to go on to queues here. So um, again, since it's an adaptive class, we um, define a list first. Um, and again, we're just going to do the a sort of similar thing that we did with the uh, stack when we made our view command. Um, for x in range, so for every element in uh, the queue, uh, very element Q, print the element with that index there. So there we go. That'll be our view. And then we define our push command. Um, our push function even. Um, now, item equals input. Uh, since we're asking the user for a input here, um, please enter the item you wish to add to the queue. Okay, there we go. So now that we've got that uh, input, we'll just simply do queue.append item. Again, since it's a, since it's a list and all that. So next thing, define pop. Um, item equals now remember we did um, negative one here for the stack well since um, a queue is different and will always pop from the uh, front of the queue um, pop that value will be zero and that will always be zero because that will be the uh, first element in the queue and as you know first in first out okay so um, print um, give the user some feedback. You just popped, popped, popped out, um, and then concatenation of the item there. So there we go. Um, now, oh, and the of course we can't forget about our peak command there, which is going to be um, is simply going to be Q square bracket zero because that will be the first element in the uh, queue and we'll just say print you peaked comma comma queue brilliant okay great so and then very similar again we're just gonna make our menu uh, system here uh, print and then print with um, some equals there just to make it nice look nice there copy paste print there we go okay so 
Um, print one. Oh, sorry. So the first command obviously is a uh, view. So view q. Uh, the second command is second function again command function. You know, um, print two. Um, push onto q. I suppose push. Yes, push onto q. Let's just say that. Let's just do that for simplicity. Print uh, free uh, pop onto Q, out of Q maybe pop yeah pop out of Q pop out of Q okay and then finally we're gonna peek we're gonna peek peek Q I suppose um, and again the um, if statements are actually all the same, again, um, I'll just type them out again, just to, you know, oh, before we forget, can't forget about actually getting the user's choice there. Choice equals int input, uh, please enter your menu choice. There we go. Oh, always forget to double bracket that. Um, now, if menu choice, no, sorry, if choice uh, equals equals one, then call uh, view else if choice equals equals two, call push else if uh, choice equals equals three. Uh, call pop and then uh, else if uh, peak uh, no sorry else if choice equals equals uh, equals 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 four then peak peak that else print invalid input okay so Let's run this. Now, um, view queue. Have nothing in the queue. Um, let's push on to the queue. Uh, please enter the item you wish to add to the queue. Okay, I want to add the item. What do I want to add? Let's add a mouse. Okay. Um, Let's view the queue. Mouse. Okay, great. So um, push on to queue, let's say a horse. And then let's push on to queue, let's say uh, we've got um, a bird there. Okay, let's view mouse, horse, bird, as you can see in the queue there. So since this is a first in, first out uh, data structure, if we peek, we will expect to see that mouse will be uh, returned because that was the first uh, element entered. So when we do this, oh, I've printed the whole list instead of the, uh, yes, because I didn't, ah, uh, yes, okay. I printed the, <laughs> printed the entire list instead of the, um, what do you call it? The first element. Sorry, that was my mistake there. Easy, easy, easily done, I suppose. So remember to put the index there. Okay, so sorry about that. So we'll push, we'll quickly do this now. Uh, mouse, horse, bird. Uh, and then we're gonna peek the queue. Well, we'll, we'll I'll let you view the queue. So again, it's the same. And then since we're um, returning um, well, since this is a first in, first out uh, data structure, um, it's going to return a mouse when we peek it because that's going to be um, that's going to be uh, the first thing, first element in the queue. You peeked mouse. So whenever we pop, 
we're going to expect that we're going to pop out mouse here. Yes, you've just popped out mouse. I'm going to view the queue again. We can see horse and bird are present there. Um, so the last thing I want to probably want to leave you with is, um, let's say you try and pop a stack or a queue when there's nothing in the stack or queue. So let's let's try that there. Um, pop out of queue, pop and then view. So we've only got bird left, and we pop that out and we view it. There's nothing left in the queue. So um, whenever we try and pop or remove something from the stacker queue whenever there's nothing um, in the in the stacker queue we're going to get an error um, and typically um, the language will um, will uh, tell you explicitly what the error is because it's quite because um, it's using a built-in command like pop um, as you can see index error pop from empty list so as you know, so um, essentially, so the data structure underneath the queue is a list. In our case, um, we've tried to pop from a, from an empty uh, list, and that's why I said pop from empty list. This will occur for stack as well. Um, so yes, it will. There will be a built-in um, error um, into that. So if you ever see this. Um, you will know why um, that error has occurred because you've tried to remove um, an element from a list that has no elements. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's how you do the menu systems for a queue and a stack. Um, the only thing I would like to show is just the similarity there um, between them. I mean, they're quite similar data structures. That's why. Um, that's why uh, they're often talked about together. Um, although they do have some key differences, which are highlighted here, actually. Um, so for a stack, you're getting the um, last the, the last element inputted. So in that case, it's going to be minus one. You use there. And then for a Q, um, it's it's the first element, so that's why you use zero there, because in indexes start at zero. But other than that, um, the rest of the codes the same. It's simply um, it's simply um, a matter of changing just one number can completely um, uh, can com changing one number can completely. Uh, change the way uh, the data structure uh, operates. But anyway, um, that's how you do, um, that's how you implement a uh, queue and a stack in Python. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, bye.